Hello, welcome back to another day of our speaking challenge. The topic we will have today is traffic jam, which is one of the major problems in Ho Chi Minh City, right? And the questions that we have are, what traffic problems are there in your area and how do traffic problems affect you? So as usual, I will read a sample for you and you can just listen for now. All right, let's start. With the high volume of traffic these days, there are tons of problems related to traffic in my country. First and foremost, drivers often get stuck in long traffic jams during rush hours every day. This issue is mainly due to the rapid increase in the number of vehicles on the streets, which puts a strain on our traffic system. Reckless driving is another major concern as it contributes to the rising number of accidents on busy roads, leading to a growing mortality rate. Personally, I often run into traffic issues and it affects me both mentally and physically. Being stuck in traffic congestions after long hours of work feels like a nightmare to me. And unfortunately, it happens with quite frequently. Even though I have somewhat gotten used to this situation, it still leaves me feeling drained. Yeah. Okay, so that's the sample we have today. And now let's have a look at this and we'll practice together. Right. So I will read each sentence slowly and you can just repeat after me. And like I uh, said before, pay attention to your pronunciation at this stage. Okay, let's start. With the high volume of traffic these days. With the high volume of traffic these days. There are tons of problems related to traffic in my country. There are tons of problems related to traffic in my country. First and foremost, drivers often get stuck in long traffic jams. First and foremost, drivers often get stuck in long traffic jams. During rush hours every day. During rush hours every day. This issue is mainly due to the rapid increase. This issue is mainly due to the rapid increase. In the number of vehicles on the streets. in the number of vehicles on the streets. Which puts a strain on our traffic system. Which puts a strain on our traffic system. Reckless driving is another major concern. Reckless driving is another major concern. As it contributes to the rising number of accidents on busy roads. As it contributes to the rising number of accidents on busy roads. leading to a growing mortality rate. Leading to a growing mortality rate.
personally, I often run into traffic issues. Personally, I often run into traffic issues. And it affects me both mentally and physically. And it affects me both mentally and physically. Being stuck in traffic congestions after long hours of work. Being stuck in traffic congestions after long hours of work. Feels like a nightmare to me. Feels like a nightmare to me. And unfortunately, it happens quite frequently. And unfortunately, it happens quite frequently. Even though I've somewhat gotten used to this situation. Even though I've somewhat gotten used to this situation. It still leaves me feeling drained. It still leaves me feeling drained. Okay, very nice. So let's go one more time together. Just very slowly, okay? Let's go. With the high volume of traffic these days, There are tons of problems related to traffic in my country. First and foremost, drivers often get stuck in long traffic jams. During rush hours every day. This issue is mainly due to the rapid increase. In the number of vehicles on the streets. Which puts a strain on our traffic system. Reckless driving is another major concern. As it contributes to the rising number of accidents on busy roads. Leading to a growing mortality rate. Personally, I often run into traffic issues. And it affects me both mentally and physically. Being stuck in traffic congestions after long hours of work. Feels like a nightmare to me. And unfortunately, it happens quite frequently. Even though I've somewhat gotten used to this situation.
it still leaves me feeling great. Good job. So practice a little bit more here if you need. And when you're more confident and comfortable with the text, we'll move on to step number two. So in step number two, we'll do the same thing. I will just read it again and you can just repeat after me this time. So try to memorize the phrases and the idea as well. Okay, let's try. With the high volume of traffic these days, there are tons of problems related to traffic in my country. First and foremost, drivers often get stuck in long traffic jams. During rush hours every day. This issue is mainly due to the rapid increase. In the number of vehicles on the streets. which puts a strain on our traffic system. Reckless driving is another major concern. As it contributes to the rising number of accidents on busy roads. leading to a growing mortality rate. Personally, I often run into traffic issues. And it affects me both mentally and physically. Being stuck in traffic congestions after long hours of work. Feels like a nightmare to me. And unfortunately, it happens quite frequently. even though I've somewhat gotten used to this situation. It still leaves me feeling drained. Very nice. So now I will read it and you can say along with me this time. So we'll read it together, okay? Very slowly, try to remember the phrases and the ideas of the text. Let's go. With the high volume of traffic these days, there are tons of problems related to traffic in my country. First and foremost, drivers often get stuck in long traffic jams during rush hours every day. This issue is mainly due to the rapid increase in the number of vehicles on the streets, which puts a strain on our traffic system. Reckless driving is another major concern as it contributes to the rising number of accidents on busy roads, leading to a growing mortality rate. Personally, I often run into traffic issues, and it affects me both mentally and physically. Being stuck in traffic congestions after long hours of work feels like a nightmare to me, and unfortunately, it happens quite frequently. Even though I have somewhat gotten used to this situation, it still leaves me feeling drained. Okay, let's see if you can catch up with me, right? Let's try one more time. With the high volume of traffic these days, there are tons of problems related to traffic in my country. First and foremost, drivers often get stuck in long traffic jams during rush hours every day. This issue is mainly due to the rapid increase in the number of vehicles on the streets, which puts a strain on our traffic system. 
Reckless driving is another major concern, and it contributes to the rising number of accidents on busy roads, leading to a growing mortality rate. Personally, I often run into traffic issues, and it affects me both mentally and physically. Being stuck in traffic congestions after long hours of work feels like a nightmare to me. And unfortunately, it happens quite frequently. Even though I have somewhat gotten used to this situation, it still leaves me feeling drained. Okay, so practice a little bit more and when you are ready, move on to step number three. And with this, not only look at the Vietnamese version, but record your uh, speaking. Now this comes to the question that we have today. It's very short, but there will be a lot for you to say. So describe a time when you were stuck in a traffic jam. So uh, think of like the situation and imagine that you are just telling me about your experience. So these are some uh, questions just to give you some clues on what to say. Uh, but you can be creative and just be comfortable telling me your experience. Yeah. So that will be all for the video today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.